Hey! What is going on everyone? Welcome back. Welcome back to the last video of the day. Last, last Marshall and Lynch video of the day. And, um, well, what a story. What a story. We're about to see how this whole story unfolds this weekend. But before we do, I've actually got one, one last video that I do need to watch before I enjoy this comeback by Marshall and Lynch. And that is... Okay, I need to see what this play is that they keep talking about. I feel like it was in Super Bowl 49, 49, 51, I'm not actually sure what it was, but I think the Seahawks were playing, I think the Seahawks were playing the Patriots, and I think they were probably about five yards out, maybe one of the last plays of the game, Marshall and Lynch is on the field, they decide to do a quick slant route, it gets stopped. They say, why the fuck? Did you not give it to Marshawn Lynch instead? I think that's what happened, but we're going to find out finally. So let's do it. Let's just write in Marshawn Lynch and see what see what comes up. Marshawn Lynch, Stephen A. <laughs> I probably should have watched Stephen A. To be honest. Oh well. Oh maybe I should. Marshawn Lynch in his first practice for Seahawks in nearly four years. There's actually three more videos I want to watch. I want to see what Stephen A. Smith is going to say about Marshall Lynch. I really do. So you know what? We're going to watch it. I love Beast Mode and I love his mentality and I think that that is the kind of thing that is good for any football team, particularly one as quali his, his quality as Seattle Seahawks. No question. And I will give mad love and respect to Marshawn Lynch from this perspective. Six of the last seven seasons he's played in the NFL, he's averaged better than four yards a carry. We keep getting that twisted. It's not like this brother fell off the map. I mean, six of the last seven years, he has been running the football in the National Football League before he disappeared after 2018. This guy has averaged at least four yards a carry. So it's not a matter of that. I'm just saying that when you look at what Chris Carson gave you, before he goes out with his hip injury. The three-headed monster that is Seattle with Carson, Proceeds, and uh, Penny. Uh, more so more Carson than anybody else because he's the one that's ran for over 1,000 yards the last two seasons, has 1,200 yards as we speak You're before he ultimately yeah. go down. The three-headed monster that they were, I don't think Marshawn Lynch makes up for that. If we're looking at one guy, and this one guy was running the football for them. And he's averaging four yards a carry. And we say, yo, okay, all right, can Marshawn Lynch replace that guy for two games? We can't rule that out. But when I think of the three-headed monster that they are and the kind of mileage. Seahawks have three awesome running backs that I don't know about? That they put on those dudes. Because I got three of them to lean on as opposed to one. I don't know if Marshawn Lynch makes up for that. His, he's better than nothing. He's obviously quality, but I don't know how far I can go looking at the rest of the NFC thinking how much of a difference he's going to make over two games. But I hope I'm wrong because I love him. So I think Marshawn is Good call, good. Steve. And I think so because I was looking at it last night. Everybody lauds Russell Wilson as a guy, and to a degree, rightfully so. But the Seahawks are a running team. Let's not get it twisted. Carson, he was fifth in the NFL in rushing. The Seahawks are a running team first. In their four losses, they only average... 100 yards rushing. In their 11 wins, 158 yards rushing. Marshawn is the type of guy that can come in. He averages 4.3 over his career. Last year, he still averaged 4.2. Like Max, you said, if this was week two, week three, I'd be like, nah, I'm out. I don't want any parts of it. But all he needs to do is give you four or five games at the most. But that's I, all I, you might, need. I might not even say I'm out. I might still take him if that's the best I could do. But I wouldn't be sitting here saying... He could be the difference. Yeah. But at this time of year, see, I said this about Brady against the Bills. And, and this goes in the fight game. It goes in a lot of sports. A one-time great still a lot of times has it in him somewhere to be great in a moment yep. again or over a game or two. And Marshawn Lynch, I know he's not the greatest running back of all time, but on my all-time team, he might have a spot. And, and because he, there was something about him you wanted on your team almost more than anyone else when he was at his best. And I think there's an emotional component. I'll tell you what that thing is. It's called beast mode. And only some players even have the physical attributes to produce that, let alone the attitude to go with it. Oh, and we all get it. Like, oh, Marshawn, he might give the Seahawks some, some juice. That's just the narrative that we try. Oh, who's that girl? That's what I want to know. The created times, right? If you're in the locker room, what does Marshawn actually do? Well, as a defender, now you got to respect the fact that 
beast mode is in the backfield. Mm -hmm. So the linebackers, they're going to play downhill a little bit more, which lets Russell Wilson eat. If Russ doesn't have a running game, his passing game is severely depleted. So Marshawn makes you as a defender say, oh, God, is this dude back? Is he for real whether he is or not? Just <laughs> oh, God. Of Marshawn plays Having backfield. a game plan for him, yeah. I mean, the other piece being down three running backs, I know that's major for Seattle, but on a positive note, it looks like they're getting Jadavion Clowney back. If you need a first down, mm -hmm. like the thing about the beast quake, right, mm -hmm. is the way Marshawn runs, the, it's, a, it's an act of will, yep. mm -hmm. you know? And if you need a first down in a playoff game or to get home field in the playoffs, he's like, if he's still, you can't do better than him off, like right now anyway. But if there's a guy who might still give it to you, it's him. Tell me this, Stephen A. Okay, so say, for example, you had Seattle booked to go to the Super Bowl with Chris Carson. Now with Marshawn Lynch, how much does that downgrade them? How much of a difference is it, it not having any other... Chris players? Carson. I'm sorry, guys. We're going to have to look this guy up. First time I've actually heard his name. He, like, literally, is he killing it? Is he killing it? He's 25, 100 kilos, 6 foot tall, Seattle Seahawks... 278 attempts for 1,230 yards, 4.4 yards per carry, 7 touchdowns. So he isn't played as a passing option too often. What is his injury? Monday night's reunions with Marshall and Lynch and Robert Turbin became official on Tuesday, which meant that the Seahawks had to make a pair of roster moves to create space for the old friends of the franchise. The moves were the ones most were expecting, Chris Carson, Chris Carson and CJ Procease. Procise were placed on injured reserve. Carson injured his hip in last Sunday's loss to the Cardinals. And Procise broke his arm, which left rookie Travis Homer as the only running back on the active roster. The Seahawks moved quickly to bring Lynch in for, for a physical, and they had Turbin in to make sure he was in condition. Who's Turbin? Is Turbin a running back? Okay, so the three-headed monster is back! All is not lost. Okay, Chris Carson Balling out, haven't seen him play at all. Might do in the future, but not today. I think that depends on Marshawn Lynch because we don't know what he's been doing. Uh, we know that he he wouldn't be on the team if he wasn't in good enough physical condition, you know, to be there. But in the same breath, as you well know, you just because you're in shape don't mean you're in football shape. Mm -hmm. And what you can handle, I don't know the answer to that question because he hasn't been around. What I would tell you is that his heart, his moxie, all of that stuff, I absolutely mm -hmm. love. And as much as I respect the hell out of Pete Carroll, and I got a lot of love for Pete Carroll. He and I have had conversations in the past. I'm very, very fond of him. But what he did and what Darryl Bevel did in that mm -hmm. Super Bowl in 2015 mm -hmm. against New England was unconscionable. To have Marshawn Lynch rush for 100, and, 100 Right, this is going to be perfect for my next video because we're going to we're going to watch that exact play. Plus yards in that game. To have him make the plays that he did late in that game. To have him get run, literally run from the five yard line to the half yard line, and then to bypass giving him the football so I can throw across the middle pass from Russell Wilson to somebody. It's unconscionable and they won't admit it. I'm telling y'all right now, there's going to be a book that comes out someday. I don't know whether it's about the Legion of Doom. Yeah, why did he choose that? Why did he do that? Is that because he didn't like Marshawn Lynch? Because if it is, that's really fucked. It's going to be my somebody where everybody's going to go like this. There was no reason that should have happened. They gave the ball to Russell Wilson because they wanted Russell Wilson to be the hero, not beast mode. I happen to believe that's a big reason why he wanted to leave Seattle to begin with when he initially retired before he ended up coming out of retirement to go to Oakland. I don't care what anybody but says. That's, that's like, there have been plenty of people who disagree with you. I'm on the same side of you here as you here, unfortunately. This is a debate show, but we agree about this. You give the ball to Marshall Lynch. There have been plenty who have said, nope, a pass play was the right call right there. Okay. The, the, no. the whole point about Marshawn Lynch, as I just mentioned, is if there's almost anyone who ever lived who you think you have a half yard to go, give it to him. Yeah. Even if they know it's coming, it's him. Now, I will say this, though. They're going to need a lot more than a half yard. That's right. A lot more than three yards of carry to carry them to the Super Bowl. Because Stephen A. hit the nail on the head earlier on. Chris Carson was elite. Like, the dude was special. He wasn't just some run-of-the-mill back. Mm -hmm. He had 1,200 1, yards already this season. Marshawn Max is going to have to but get But you may him. not win the Super Bowl, but it could be the difference between you getting knocked out in the first round and making a little run at but, least, but, but winning a couple okay. games. Oh, maybe 
Which we the, won't have you here with us on Friday. What do you expect in this Niners Seahawks game Sunday? Do you think Seattle can get it done? Uh, I think the Niners get it done. The Niners are a little hungrier of a team to me. When you look at Seattle, mm -hmm. the nucleus of Seattle, they they got complacent. Now this year we've seen the complacency dissipate. This guy's great. But earlier on, over the last several years, they've been complacent. When you look at the Niners, they're young, they're hungry, they're scrappy on defense. I'm not sold on Jimmy G. He's made some great balls last week. I get it. I'm not sold on Jimmy G. But Seattle as a whole, I think they're a little hungrier. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus. Well, it looks as if I could just go through... Channel after channel after channel after channel watching people's reactions reacting to people's reactions As stupid as that sounds to this story, but we're gonna stop it there Stephen a always a pleasure. Thanks mate in the next video. We have to go Marshall Lynch Super Bowl 51 best comments during Super Bowl 51 Oh No, Super Bowl 49 Marshall Lynch talks Super Bowl 49 pass that's going to be fantastic, but we've got to watch it first. Super Bowl 49. The whole fourth quarter. It was the worst result of a call ever. Four years ago. Okay, yep, we're going to watch that too. Sherman reaction, priceless. Oh, we saw that before. It's just, oh, it makes you sick. It really does. Oh man, the joy, the ecstasy went to agony and we're going to watch it all in the next video. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed these ones. If you love Marshall and Lynch, if you love the Seahawks, if you love the Bills, if you love the Raiders, and if you just love NFL as a whole, please hit that like button, please subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one. There's no time to lose. Peace out.